What's up everybody, Cobrinha, Kennedy. In this video, we're going to show you three submissions from side control to take your jiu-jitsu to the next level. Thank you for those of you who have checked out my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to take your jiu-jitsu to the next level. With that being said, let's get started. We're going to start from side control. I have the cross face with my left arm. My right hand is going to isolate Kenny's right hip, like so. And I'm going to turn around and you're going to see how I'm going to set up the three submissions from side control. I'm going to shift my hips like so, then I can open my own lapel like so. Once I grab my lapel, my hand goes back to the hip. And the reason why my hand goes back to the hip is because I give Kennedy a sense pulse of security. Cobrinha, what do you mean? I mean, when I grab Kennedy's hip like so, Ken thinks I am just isolating his hip, which is, I am, but I'm grabbing my own lapel as well. I'm going to turn Ken around like so, and now you're going to see from this angle how I'm going to put my head forward like so, to not let Ken see what I'm going to do. My right hand goes in between Ken's arms and feed my left hand. Immediately, my right hand goes back to Ken's hip because I know that's going to be a fight. Now I go back again, re-grab the lapel to make it tighter around Ken's neck. I'm not grabbing too deep, but I'm grabbing enough to make Ken tap. What I'm going to do next, my right hand goes back to Kenneth's hip. And I'm going to turn around once again here. You can see what I'm going to do. Usually in this position, my partner will be blocking the hips like so. Once Kenny blocks my hip, I'm going to shift my hips like so. Then I can clear the hand off my hips. And the first one, I'm going to step the leg over. And my head remains on Kenneth's uh, left hip, see over there, the same side, that's the first one. Uh, when I step the leg over my partner's head, my head remains on the side. Now, Ken is not letting me step the leg over, the second option, my head goes to the other side. Again, okay, so just to make sure that you understand, the first one, my head stays on the same side of Ken's hip, the second one, my head goes to the other side. So I step the leg over, that is, and my head is going to the other side. And Ken will tap on the lapel choke. And again here, I step the leg over, okay? My partner is turning on the side, it happens all the time. What we'll do, we step the leg over, going to the mouth position, and we're going to squeeze the lapel choke. So number one, we keep the hand on the same side of the head. Number two, we pass our head to the other side of our partner's hips. Number three, we go to the mouth position as our partner goes to the third position. Let's see it one more time. I'm going to start from side control. My right hand is going to open my own lapel and my head is next to Kenny's head to not let Kenny see what I'm going to do with my right hand. My right hand is next to Kenny's hip, grabbing the hip like I said before, to disguise it, what I'm going to do. My right hand goes in between Kenneth's arms and I'm going to fit my left hand. Once I do that, my right hand has to go back to Kenneth's hip because we know that as soon as Kenneth sees the lapels going around his neck, Kenneth's gonna try to fight, trying to recover his guard. Always I go back again and make the adjustment that's necessary around Kenneth's neck. And we're going to see once again, number one, number two, and number three. Number one, my head stays on the same side of my partner's hip, which is Kenny's left hip. Second one, my head goes to the right hip. And the third one, we're going to the mouth position. We're about to see the number one again. So I shift my hips, step the leg over, and my head remains on Kenny's left hip. Uh, the second one, my partner won't let me step the leg over. Ken is going to put his arm up, like so. That's perfect. Now my head goes to the other side. 
it makes more space when I put my head on the other side. And I'll be able to step the leg over and the tip of my knee goes to Kenneth's forehead to push his head towards the mat. And I'm keep pulling the lapel and Kenneth is going to tap on the lapel choke. Number three, usually when my head goes to the other side, my partner will have a room to turn into me. When he does so, I will step the leg over and go to the mouth position with the lapel. It's nasty. And notice that from this angle, I'm shifting my right hip to drop the hip and pull the lapel. And the reason why we do that is to put more pressure on our partner's neck. Again, try it, number one, number two, and number three. And let me know in the comment below, how did you submit your partner? And what are your difficulties when you try to do this technique? When he takes his head off the mat, I step the leg over and I'll be able to lock in inverted triangle. Lock it up, tight, and I'll be able to lift Kenny's elbow off the mat. In this lesson, Ken and I are going to show you how to escape from Kimura Trap by using the knee shield.